Have you ever wondered how easy or how difficult it is to move an Azure VM to a different subnet? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to do it successfully. My name is Freddie Dubon, and in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is I always like to show you what the environment looks like and the steps that we're going to follow. Then I like to jump into the demo and get it done. So what we have is we have a tenant with one VNet, two subnets, two different IP ranges. 10.1.1 is for the server subnet and 10.1.2 is for the web subnet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a VM that I'm going to call to move VM with the private IP address of 10.1.1.4 and a public IP address. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to move it to the web subnet, which means that the private IP address will change. The public IP address will not change because it's still in the same region. So we can keep that same public IP address. Again, this is a move within the same region, same VNet, just two different subnets. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new network interface in the web subnet, which is the target. Then we're going to disassociate the public IP address from that VM, from that NIC. So that way we can use it later. We're going to stop also what is called deallocate a VM. Once it's deallocated or stopped, then we're going to associate the new network interface with the VM. Depending on the size of the VM, you may not be able to do this from the portal. As you will see, I'm going to be using a B, B2S or B1S. Uh, number step number five is we're going to disassociate the original network interface card and then we're going to reassociate the public IP address to the VM. So in essence, what we're doing is we're, we are attaching a new network interface that the VM itself cannot stay without a network interface. This is the reason why you cannot disassociate and then reassociate with the new subnet. You have to do an attachment of two NICs, then you have to detach the old subnet. And now in essence, the VM gets moved to the new subnet. So now let's get into the portal. Let's do this. Okay. So now that we're in the portal, let's go ahead and check the configuration, virtual networks, prod VNet. This is what we have prod VNet. And when we go into the prod VNet, if we look at the address space, it is the 10.1.0.0.16. And the subnets that we have two subnets SRV subnet 10.1.1 and web subnet 10.1.1.2. So now we're going to go into the virtual machines and we have one virtual machine called to move. I click on that. The IP address, private IP address is 10.1.1.4 as we have in the diagram and the public IP address 4078.41.145. Okay, so what I what I did also is I, I created a, um, a web server so I can just go to this IP address and it says this web server is running on Azure prod VNet. So everything is running. Everything is working on this VM. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to our checklist. Okay, the next the first thing is create a, a, a new network interface in the web subnet. Okay, so let's go to network interfaces. We have one which is attached to the current um, to the current VM. So we're going to create a new one. Resource group. I everything I'm doing is in the same resource group called test group. I'm going to call it new Nick. New NIC is going to be in West US. Everything is in the same region and the virtual network is the prod VNet and the subnet is going to be the web subnet. Again, I'm creating in the web subnet and dynamic and review and create. Okay, deployment succeeded. The next thing is we're going to go to public IP addresses. And we have here to move VM IP. This is the one that I am using for the, just to double check, 4078.41.145. That is the right one. I'm going to disassociate this public IP address. 
Okay. Now we're gonna go to the virtual machine and we're gonna stop or also called the allocate um, stop. The reason I said the allocate is because under the status right now it says running. Here you go. Now the status says stopped deallocated. Okay, now that we have this, now now that the that the VM is stopped, we can let's try to go this way. Let's go to networking. It still has that to move VM 574 is the um, is the 10.1.1.4. So what we're gonna do is we are going to attach network interface. Let's try to attach the new NIC. Click OK. Attaching network interface. Okay, it worked. Great. Some, uh, sometimes you have to do it from the command line. So at this point, there is two two NICs, there is the 2Move VM574, and there's also the new NIC, which is the 10.1.2.4, which is in the prod web subnet. And this one is in the prod VNet server subnet. So what we need to do now is we need to detach network interface, which is this 2Move574. Click OK. While we wait for that, we're going to try to access the web server and it should not be working and it's still spinning. All right. So now there's only one NIC. We're going to go to and it seems like it's done. So now we're going to go to public IP addresses to move VM IP associate network interface, new NIC, click OK. All right, now let's go to the virtual machine. Okay, let's click on start this VM. Now it says that it's running. If I click on it, it tells me that my public IP address is this one, which was the one that we, we were using before. And the public, uh, the private IP address is 10.1.2.4. And now it is in the web subnet, as you can see here. So we have successfully moved it to a new subnet. And now if we go to this, We may not be able to do it. And the reason is because of the network security group. So the network security group that is assigned to this NIC is not allowing port 80. So what we need to do is we need to go to networking and this new NIC. Uh, does not contain any security groups. So what we need to do is we need to assign the, the right security group. Uh, We can look at the other network interface, what security group it had. So let's click on that. And it says that the security group is called the two move network security group. So that's the one that, that we, that we want to associate to that, to the NIC. So let's go ahead and uh, network interfaces. Let's associate this security group with the new NIC, click OK. OK, so that's done. Let's try this again. And this web server is running on Azure Prod VNet. So we have successfully moved the virtual machine to the new subnet. Now just the cleanup process. The cleanup process would be just to get rid of this this um, network interface otherwise it's going to be sitting there uh, and if you're not going to use it 
I would recommend that you delete it just to clean up process so that you don't end up with a lot of unused resources in your Azure resource group. I hope you learned something. As you can see, it's very straightforward. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comments down below as well. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below as well. And thank you so much. And until next time, have a great time.